everyone. Thanks for joining me. My name is Stephanie and we're going to talk about some of our new fiction books. So the first one I want to show you is for our youngest readers. This one is part of um, a series. There's four in the series, Mirror Mirror. So it's this one's farm animals. Who is the loudest of them all? On the farm the goats are bleeding. Can you bleat like a goat? And then your child will look and see themselves in the mirror there. And what I like so much about this book is that the mirror is really clear. Somebody else pointed that out to me. I was like, yeah, you're right. That mirror is like really, so anyway, so this one is a lot of fun. And of course, babies and toddlers love to see themselves starring in their own book. The next one I want to show you is um, from our sounds series. This one, we have um, many in the series and I love the sound quality in them. This one is new. This one is called Dinosaur Sounds. So it has different dinosaurs. And I love the bold colors. There's also little kind of peekaboo holes and then things for them to um, like kind of uh, finger trails, I guess you'd call them as well. So um, if you have a dinosaur lover in your house, this would be a good one for them. The next one I want to show you is from our um, Forgotten Fairy Tales series. Our first one was the Forgotten Fairy Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls. And we also have one from around the world. Our newest one is Forgotten Fairy Tales of Kindness and Courage. So these fairy tales are um, just beautiful and um, I like the diversity in them as similar to the other, to the other um, fairy tale ones as well. In the first one, the prince is actually, he can't walk, he's in a wheelchair. And um, anyway, so I just really love the stories as well as um, the representation in these books. So this one is Forgotten Fairy Tales of Kindness and Courage. The next one I wanna show you is our, now that's a hat. So this one is all about somebody who is shopping for a hat and it's got a great like rhythm and rhyme to it and they're all sort of goofy and nope, not like that. That hat is too stripy, that hat is too dotty. I'm quite sure that hats is somebody's potty. So just a funny book, great illustrations. And of course, rhyme is wonderful for children. They enjoy it and it's good for pre-reading skills as well. This one, if you have a child who enjoys um, um, the book Never Give a Mouse a Cookie, this has a very similar feel to it. Never show a T-Rex a book. So it talks about, um, let me start it out so you can see. Never show a T-Rex a book. Just imagine if you do. Well, she won't know what to do with it, will she? She's probably think it's a hat or a pillow or a biscuit, so you'll have to sit down and teach her how to read. And if you teach her how to read, she'll get excited and want to read even more, so you'll have to sneak her to the library, and if you take her to the library, and it just kind of keeps going like that. Lots of fun. Never show a T-Rex a book. Um, the next one I want to show you is um, The Perfect Fit. So this book is all, it's a great book for teaching shapes as well as inclusiveness and being a good friend. So here's Triangle and he's playing with all the circles, but then he kind of feels like he can't take part in what they're doing. So he goes out to try and find more friends and he finds squares, but that's not working out either. And it just kind of keeps going with all the different shapes and how Triangle is feeling. Even though they're trying to include him, he feels different and kind of left out. And so then at the very end, they realize that it's fun if they all play together. So that is a great one that has so many wonderful lessons in it. It's called The Perfect Fit. The next one I want to show you is, oh my gosh, my boys absolutely love this new series, The Wrong Fairy Tale. So we have Goldilocks and the Three Little Pigs, as well as Jack and the Three Bears. So it's really cute because it starts off and they're kind of, oh my goodness, we didn't notice this this beanstalk there. And then the little bears end up in... Um, in the Jack and the Beanstalk story. And so they kind of realize at a certain point that they're in the wrong fairy tales. Just a very sweet, fun book. My boys think it's hysterical. Um, the next one I wanna show you, these actually are not new, um, but they're new to me, so I thought I would show them to you anyway. This is our All About series. So we have All About Friends, All About Families, and then All About Feelings. And this book is wonderful for, um, I'd say, preschool age. So I like the Feelings one so much because it talks about um, everyone has feelings and um, it talks about you try and match up like, oh, how do you think she's feeling there? 
and um, you know, helping people that perhaps are feeling scared or upset. Um, do feelings last forever? No, they don't. It helps them to realize perhaps you're feeling mad right now, but that's just a short part of your day. The rest of your day might go along a lot differently. Um, so I think it's just a wonderful book on just helping children understand their feelings and work through their feelings. Um, like I said, we have others as well. We have All About Friends, which I haven't really um, read that much about yet, and then All About Families. And I love the representation in this book. There's every kind of family you could dream up, grandparents and um, houses with two mommies and two daddies and um, houses with just one mommy and one daddy and what really makes a family is love. So anyway, that one's a great one as well. Um, who is a fan of our Billy B. Brown series? We have some new ones. Yay. Um, these, if you're not familiar with them, are wonderful early chapter books. It really got my two older kids who are now reading. Um, when they first started reading, these really just helped them take off. And they feel so accomplished because um, they're reading a chapter book like the big kids. So every library I go to, they all love them. So absolutely, if you have a child that's kind of just starting to move beyond like the early readers, this is a great one um, for you to check out. And if you already have a fan of the Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack series, we have new ones. We have the Hat Parade, we have the Grumpy Neighbor, and um, the honeybees, so lots of fun with that one. The next one I wanna show you is from our Illustrated series. Um, this is a new one, it's Illustrated Stories About Dragons. I've just sort of flipped through it, but the illustrations are absolutely stunning, so I'm sure that the stories are wonderful as well. So that's a good one for any um, dragon or fantasy enthusiasts you have in your house. The last one I wanna show you, I'm so excited about this new series. It's Freddy's Amazing Bakery. So these are kind of mystery stories. The first one is The Great Raspberry Mix-Up. And so this one is, um, you can see, I'll show it so you can see. Um, it says, Freddy um, Bon Bon is the most amazing baker in town. So when the Belleville Cake Competition is announced, everyone wants Freddy to win. Everyone that is, except rival baker Bernard, who will go to the, any lengths to make fr sure Freddy's showstopper cake is a raspberry blowing disaster. So like I said, um, mystery, this one is the cookie mystery. And what's so fun is at the very end, and there are some illustrations as you can see, at the very end, there is um, in each book, there's actually a glossary, which is kind of cool. So it tells them some of the baking, like um, what is a mold, what is a mixture, that kind of thing. And then you flip to the next, the last page, and there's a recipe that goes along with the story they just read. So how fun to read the story and then make whatever recipe Freddie was making. So um, that is, these are new to the series. And I know that there's two more coming out in the spring. So if you have a child who you like to get started on a series and then they just take off, this might be a good one. And then they can look forward to the new ones as well. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching, everybody.